Hi, this is Troy Roberts. Today we're going to talk about the correct finger placement for the alto saxophone. So your first finger is going to go on the B key, which is right here. Uh, the second finger is going to go on the A key, which is right here. And in between that we've got a little B flat bis key. The third finger is going to go on the G key, which is right above this uh, little finger stack here. And the little finger controls this stack of keys here. And on the right hand, the first finger goes on the F key, second finger goes on the E key, and the third finger goes on the D key. And your little finger on your right hand controls these keys down here, which is the E flat and, and the low C. Now, that's finger placement, but we've also got uh, thumbs and uh, the sides of your hands, which also control keys. So the thumb controls the octave key back here. Your left palm controls the side D, which is high D, E flat, and F, and your left little finger controls this, this little uh, stack of keys here, G sharp, C sharp, B, and B flat. And your right palm, or side, side of your hand, I guess, controls the side keys here, which is B flat, C and high E. Now it's important to remember when you're playing the saxophone, you've got all these keys, do your, all your fingers and thumbs doing their job. Um, it's important to kind of pretend that you're holding a couple of tennis balls um, to keep your fingers rounded and your palms out so they're not hitting any keys, side palm keys by accident. You want to keep them rounded like you're holding a couple of tennis balls and that way you can efficiently reach every key you need to.